Hi guys, this is Ali from HypnoU with your general weekly forecast for all the signs. If you do want a reading with me, do use the link below. And of course, you can take advantage of the $200 Christmas special for hypnosis to clear any issues. Now, for this week, uh, on the 9th of March, we go into uh, Mercury Retrograde Shadow Period. So if you are traveling, um, do double check the dates, the times, and allow yourself uh, extra time to get there. Uh, prepare yourself for any um, planes being grounded or any sorts of delays. Also be very careful during this time uh, with any uh, technology, your phone, your computer, faxes, uh, copy machine, all of those different things um, with water or with things blowing up or needing to be repaired, any of those things as well. And also um, the airway, so communication, you know, lost communication, lost paperwork, lost emails, lost texts, um, and also, you know, conversations with people where the message is missed or lost, uh, so arguments can uh, occur. Now, this will be coming through on Friday or Saturday of the week. Uh, so you might feel the energy just before or you might find it um, come in on those days. Now we are moving through a Neptunian time which will be starting to go out through the middle of this week. So, you know, being in your head, thinking about your future, thinking, daydreaming, um, preparing for a project, dreaming about what your finances will look like, dreaming about, um, you know, what kind of change you want to make with your body or your health or, you know, your lifestyle. So at your finance or your work, we do have the Four of Swords. So this is an issue at work where you have laid something to rest and you still have three things um, piercing your mind. Now, this is a break from work. It is recovering your mental stability. So if there has been some issues, this is the fourth house. So this, you know, you could be working from home or that your mind's on your home and it's affecting your work or that you own, uh, that you work for a parent owned company or a, um, company that has family that run it. This is also a time where you might feel that this is ready uh, for you to take that thought um, that you've been processing and putting it into action. Now this can also, because this is your finances, this could be okay, well, you know, my home, my domestic life, my family, uh, financially I'm thinking about, you know, doing something, but I'm not sure what. So, you know, you're either thinking about it and planning, whether it be moving, buying or, or doing counseling or something, and you're financially now putting it into action or getting the help that you can. Now, at home, you do have the magician, which is a one and it's a major arcana card. Now, this card is saying that this is a karmic time for you, not, not surprising it's close to... Um, you know, May, where there's, there's big Uranus change. Um, and this is saying that there's a new title, a new um, move around the home. It could be an announcement, an engagement or a pregnancy or that you've, you know, got your name on the title for a rental or lease or to buy something or a car. Um, and so what you're working on now, whatever this shift is in your mind, perspective uh, or the energy around the home, this is laying seeds for a new cycle a new growth. Um, now, this is also a great time, a prime time to invest into a home or to invest in your finances. This is also a great time to see uh, the seeds that you have planted previously or just recently um, bearing fruit. So both uh, Mercury and uh, Retrograde, when it comes back in, you might find that uh, people that you... Um, new before might be coming back opportunities you thought you missed out on that you can act on now um you know relaunching a website relaunching um yourself relaunching your company uh reworking redoing um mortgages leases uh renovations at home uh reworking the rules and uh responsibility around the home so anything with an R in front of it you can see that this will start now and go through till the 5th of May. Uh, so this card here is a major arcana card. So this is a major change, a major crossroads. There's karma all over it, and you do have the resources that you need laid out in front of you. So whether someone's offering you this uh, tangible practical help or that you've already sorted it out through this Neptunian phase where you've been in your own head or dreaming. So now you have uh, what you need to be able to move forward. Now with your health, you do have another major arcana card. This is the full and it's a zero and this has got the beautiful sun over it and you're on a brand new adventure. So for some of you, it could be a mobility issue. So you're now, you're are no longer restricted through this process that's going to be happening this week. So whether it be good news, getting a cast off, being uh, let out of hospital, 
pills working so that the flow's working and so you're now able to be mobile this is um you know nerve damage pain in the body uh you know that is is being lessened so now you are able to move forward for some of you this is about travel so this is a major arcana card this is about um you know i need to travel to get my health back in order uh for others this is about you know what well, i've got this lifestyle choice this diet or something that you're starting this week that you hear about could be from foreign it could be from overseas and now you're you're taking this this um different fork in your life so this is new for you now if you've been unwell then this is a new procedure medication or a cycle for you where you are going to get that uh, restriction uh, restriction lifted and that revolution uh, this is also about dumb luck and so you may get a phone call that you know if you've been waiting for an appointment uh, that you actually get it a lot faster so there may be in cancellation or that you're getting good news that you weren't expecting now with your love you do have the seven of cups now this is about scattered thoughts emotionally so maybe you're unsure of what's going on perhaps with mercury retrograde shadow period it's bringing back an x which is giving you that mixed feelings of you know do i stay with the person i'm currently with or do i go back to my ex or if you're single you know do i want to you know emotionally involve myself with this person again for those of you that are coupled this could be you know i'm unsure or that i'm emotionally um overwhelmed with what's happening so it could be an engagement it could be moving in together it could be that you are uh, uh, feeling like there's a lot of potential in this relationship for others because it is a seven so this is about commitment and there's you know thoughts so either way for you we are you're either thinking I've got I've got scattered thoughts uh, for some of you it could be commitment so I really want to be with this person but I don't know about the commitment or it could be the opposite end of do you know I've been with this person for a long time I've got scattered thoughts or scattered emotions about my future with this person so I want to go through those emotions before I make any big decisions now this could be thoughts you had before as well with mercury retrograde coming back um and this could also be talks back on the table with about your commitment you know what you're going to be doing so your drawing virtue message from the angels this week is Ray is saying that this week you might have some headaches, uh, tension, uh, seizures. You might be having um, grinding in your teeth as well. This is uh, also going with the you know daydreams being too much in your head, overthinking things, anxiety, stress, all those things. And this card is saying you know balance. So if you could take a couple of minutes every day with you know clearing your mind, letting it go completely free, and during that time breathing in and breathing out, uh, breathing out on exhale any tension that you feel. And just centering your body. This is also about yoga and exercise. So if you do some exercise, you might feel that anxiety, depression, or even solutions to a problem, you will find that uh, during this uh, settling, serenity, relaxing, gentle exercise or a really good workout. Now, Athena says it's okay for you to be powerful. So if you are unsure or you're now taking action, but it's a little bit risky, Athena is saying, you know, trust your gut, your intuition. This is an empowering time for you. Don't let anybody else be a naysayer or a hater or rain on your parade that this is a time for you to be able to powerfully uh, empowering time for you to back yourself and follow your intuition so i hope you've enjoyed that message be kind to you and those you love and i shall see you next week